Hello and uh, welcome to this 2023 Machine Learning Challenge on Kaggle. This 2023 Machine Learning Challenge involves regression tasks. The target variable is spent in dollars by a customer at a shopping mall. So there are 131 independent variables. Using that, you'll be predicting how much a customer is likely to spend. First variable ID identifies each customer uniquely in the shopping mall. In the data, you'll see three files, train.csv, test.csv, and then there's a sample submission.csv file. Your file has to be in this format when you're submitting. So link to this challenge is in the description area. And once you agree the rules, you will have access to all the three files that you can download on your computer. So very quickly, let me show you how you can create a CSV file. So let's upload the train.csv first in the fourth window. And the file is under downloads where I downloaded the file. So once it uploads, we can read data using read.csv and file.choose. Train.csv open. And immediately we have more than 5,000 rows of data and 132 columns. So first column is the customer ID and second column is our response or target variable spend. And then we have X1, X2, etc., which are our independent variables. We need library R part. So we'll store our T model in tree. Response variable is spend as a function of all other variables, but let's subtract ID and our data is train. So this creates a model, doesn't take much time. And then to assess the performance, uh, we can save predictions in P. Our model is tree and data is train. And then we can plot and see how this model is doing. P versus train dollar spent. We can see it does a decent job, may not be perfect job, but a clear linear pattern. As the actual spend values increase, predicted spend values also increase. So for submission file, we need a test.csv. Let's first upload test.csv file. We can copy this and rename this as test so that we have test file here. So we have the test file with these many observations and these many variables. So one thing you'll notice is there is no response or target variable available here, just the IDs and independent variables. We can do prediction and save this in P1. The model is tree and new data that we are providing is test. So let's create object submission, which will be a data frame. And it will have only two columns. First column will be the ID column from the test data and second column will include predictions P1. We can also give column names for submission, ID and expected. So looking at submission, now we have two columns, ID and expected. So this is in the format that we need for submission. Let's write a CSV file now where it will have submission that we just now created and the file will be named as submission.csv and make sure you include row.names as false. So this is important to not have an extra column. Run this and submission.csv file is created. So you can select and then export, download and it's downloaded on our computer. Now we can go to the challenge and submit our predictions. So under downloads, we have submission.csv. And if you like, you can provide any description that may be relevant and hit submit. So based on this submission, the public score is 72.15. Looking at the leadership board, so this is the first submission made for this 2023 machine learning challenge. No wonder right now, the ranking on leadership board is one, but I'm sure most of you are going to beat this score and this ranking will go down dramatically. So note that in a day, you'll be able to make five submissions. And if your score improves, obviously 
your ranking will also improve on the leadership board only that submission will appear that's your best performance till that point so i hope you do well good luck mm -hmm.